Hello there. Uh, my name is Timothy. Thank you for joining me today we, uh, for the, uh, today's uh, devotionables, a brief devotion for busy people. In our day and age, both believers and non-believers celebrate Christmas. And uh, because of that, it becomes very easy for us to lose sight of what Christmas is all about. Or even worse is that we, as Christians, to find ourselves asking the question, what is the right Christian posture to celebrating Christmas? And we have a lot of like traditional Christ Christmas hymns that are being sung both by believers and non-believers. And one of them is the first Noel. Uh, for me personally, I love the first Noel because it symbolizes, like, it gives more of like, uh, um, it articulate, I mean, it, it articulate what happened the first time the heavens broke loose and the angels proclaimed the birth of King Jesus to the shepherd while they were watching their flocks by night. This traditional EM, I want to give us two things that will help us answer the question, how can I, as a believer in the Lord Jesus, celebrate Christmas with the right posture in a way that is meaningful and in a way that is purposeful? So if you think with me, the, the lyrics, the first, just the first line, the first Noel, the angels did say was to certain poor shepherds in field as as delay. But the first thing I want us to notice is, is the first Noel. What is this Noel? Well, Noel is Latin for uh, a declaration of a birth. Now we know that this birth, I mean, all birth requires celebration, right? But this birth, the celebration of the birth of Christ is way more than just a celebration of a birthday. It's a celebration of a birth that leads in the birth of King Jesus. Um, who saved his people from their sins. And so, first, as the angels broke into celebratory proclamation to the shepherds, that, voila, Luke chapter 2, verse 10 to 12, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And they, they proclaim this. On that, it, we know the scripture reveals that the shepherds rejoiced. And so, number one, to have a right Christian posture to celebrate in Christmas, we celebrate with a joyful heart. A heart of gratitude to the Lord for sending King Jesus as the Savior, the one who saves us from our, our sins. Secondly, I want to notice that it says the first Noel, which is the proclamation that the angels did say was to shepherd. Now, this shepherd, they were doing what? They were going about their regular business. They were doing what they do every day, tending their sheep. And behold, there comes the heaven proclamation. Now, this is the thing. We know from Dr. Owl weeks ago when he preached, he referred to how the uh, uh, Old Testament saints and up to the birth of Christ, they were longing for the coming Messiah. Uh, we see that the, in, the, in the scripture, we see that the shepherd, even though they were longing for this coming Messiah, they were caught off guard. They were doing everything they do regularly, but, they were, as they were longing, they were caught off guard. Now, why is that important? We New Testament saints, we are also longing, we're not only celebrating the coming of the Messiah, we're also longing for the second return of the Messiah. So now, all right, get this. Why the shepherd may have gotten away with being caught off guard at the proclamation that the King Jesus, the Messiah, was born, we believers, we were encouraged by the Lord Jesus to be at alert, to be ready for him to come again. So now, this is the thing, brothers and sisters. Our posture to celebrating Christmas as New Testament Christians, 24th century Christians, must be filled by a heart that is awakened, a heart that is 
prepared, a heart that is being made ready for the second coming of the Lord Jesus. So as we celebrate joyfully the arrival of our Lord in the proclamation of the Noel, we don't be like the shepherd who were caught off guard in our anticipation. We're anticipating giving the Lord praise for coming and now anticipating him in returning to to uh, to take us home with him at a second coming. So believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are encouraged from even traditional hymns like the first Noah and thinking deep about the meaning of the words in, the, in that poetry to look beyond just what an unbeliever will celebrate as a Christmas to first give gratitude to God for sending Christ and second be celebrating with a heart that is made ready, longing for, a, for our Christ to come again to take us home with him. And that's how we celebrate Christmas meaningfully and purposefully with a right Christian posture. I hope you have a wonderful Merry Christmas.